Hey guys, it is 6.30 in the morning and I am tired, but I am on my way to have my surgery. I'm nervous, I'm scared, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, I won't, I'm looking forward to it being over and recovering. I'm going to bring you guys along on this journey the entire time. So make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications because I will be sharing in detail how this goes, how I'm recovering, everything. Okay, I'm half asleep. It's time to go. We are almost there we are in the city and um, I don't know the anxiety is starting to hit me this is like a major thing as far as like being put under for a long period of time I've had surgery before but never put under for this long so I'm really nervous make sure they wake me up Dustin <laughs> make sure are you nervous for me you trust that people know what they're doing, obviously. I mean, this doctor is very credible. And well, I mean, I get nervous because of medicine and being put under so long. And you just, you know, you get nervous when somebody you love is being cut open. Um, he's had all this kind of quote unquote damage from the you know kids, uh, especially with their abs and the hernia. So need to get that fixed. She's still young. So we want to get that fixed so I'm that young. so you can have many years ahead. Good, many good years. Yeah. So as you guys can see, I am robed up, netted up, and uh, lovely socks. Now it's anxiety. Instead of nervousness, I'm kind of anxious. I'm ready to get it over with. Um, I'm afraid of being put to sleep against my will, pretty much, but I'm ready. I, I need to get it done. I'm ready to get it done. Dr. Tarani's going to come in and mark me up and show what's going to happen. Hello to Kevin Tarani. I'm nervous. But... So uh, I understand that you're thinking about going a little bit smaller, uh, yes. but lifted. Yes. That's a good idea. So we're yes. going to talk about that a little bit. Yes. So... I'm afraid of, I don't want to. I've never had big breasts. I just, I don't think I'll, I don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and do some pictures, some okay. clinical pictures, and okay. uh, do some markings, okay. talk size. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll go in. My anesthesiologist is going to give me some good uh, medications. Put you to sleep. Force me to relax. Sleep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you wake up. Everything would be uh, perky and flat. And you mean better looking <laughs> and and then you will you will also have hate me for a few days because it'll hurt a little bit, but not too bad. Do I um I get like pain medication obviously to for a couple days. Uh you're gonna need it for me the the brunt of it is probably the first forty eight hours. Okay. Uh, they're gonna take him basically it'll be four to six hours. Okay. Uh, after that most people just take either Tylenol or Advil. You may not okay. even need it after that. I'm tough. I'm a okay. tough cookie. So you may not need it. <laughs> We'll see. Yeah, pain is obviously very subjective, so yeah, some yeah. people do a little bit better with that. that is it way. similar to, uh, like the cut is similar to C-section pain yeah. though? Okay. Uh, some people say it's even better because the blocking that we use kind of okay. blunts that first few days. It, it lasts okay. 72 hours, so okay. that's when the brunt of it is and, yes. and you're kind of protected during that period. I'm trying to relax. So let's go size, talk size, let's uh, yes. mark you and then we'll go. Okay. okay. Let's go talk size guys. Let's do it. I'm excited. <laughs> He just talked about, well, we just talked about size for the breast augmentation. When I was speaking with him before, he wanted to go bigger, like 500 cc's, because I'm so deflated that I needed that volume to give it a lift. But I don't want, like, giant boobs, because I never have had that, and I'm not looking to change that. I just want them filled. So we're deciding to go much smaller, like 350 cc, and just do the lift instead. So it's just going to fill in the empty space instead of getting any type of bigger. Guys, look at all these people changing themselves. Hey, that's what I'm here for. Look at that. Oh, look at this 53-year-old woman underwent this and now she See, can... See, well, you can tell she had a C-section. That's why that thing... These oh. are all people who had kids. Look at that. That's kids. kids. 
wow, what happened? That's a big hernia she had. Was this like a nose job? I guess, yeah. No, juvederms, actually. Okay. And chin. She Guys, whatever you want, they can do here. They can take fat from your ankle. They can put it up near your ear. I mean, whatever you want. That's, that's, you can't show this. You realize uh, that, right? Can't. So I'm gonna get you to stand on top of that. Take everything off. Dr. Tarani is drawing on me right now, painting a picture. <laughs> Just a small picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's very common for people's belly bone not to be perfectly in the center. And yours is a little, little bit off. On the side, right? <laughs> and I'm going to bring it a little bit more closer to the center for you. Real now. That's happening. <laughs> so Ami is all marked up, like a little Aztec warrior, ready to um, be cut up, I guess. I'm trying to not hyperventilate at the moment because it's it's real. It's real. It's happening now. I mean, it was happening before, but now, like, I have. I don't know if any of you all have ever been through anything like this. I'm sure somebody has. I'm sure many people have share your experience with me as well i'd like to know in this first stage like how was recovery for you how did you feel about it afterwards were you happy were you satisfied did you go back i don't plan on going back so if you did good for you but i'm done whatever that happens here whatever i look like that's it hello, hello. hello. hi how are you I'm I'm Jules, awesome. meet you. Nice to meet you. so i'm gonna be your anesthesiologist and just know a few things with you and answer okay. any questions you may have first question is have you ever had any surgery before I have. Right. Any problems with the anesthetic? Any unusual reactions to anything? No. That you the anesthesiologist just left, and there's gonna be another person coming in. The more people I meet, the more I'm like, okay, this is happening. This is happening. This is real. This is real. It's good to know there's like five people or whatever, how many people in the room watching and monitoring, but it's just, it's scary. You're marked up. Yes. You're ready to go. All right. She's on the way to surgery. I'm, don't make, I'm like, okay. Right now you gotta you gotta know you're gonna get a needle, it's gonna get pain, you're gonna feel weird, it's gonna be uncomfortable. But if you can put your mind there and be there, then like that's where it can't go anywhere else. Alright? She's gonna be okay. She needs to get this done guys. So I guess I'll see you in a few hours. On the other side. Yes. Yeah. Yep. On the other side. So where's the way? Okay, Ami is done, so on the way there now to get her. I think things went well. I talked to the doctor. The doctor said things went well. So, we'll see how she's doing. Oh, man. So, she's still gonna feel some DC in the thickness of the anesthesia. Uh -huh. It will be for, it's gonna be for this whole day. She's gonna be like this. Whole but day? tomorrow, she will be way better. Hi, people. <laughs> Throat. All right, well, you're done. I looked down and I said, Whoa, there's something there. What is that? Oh, I mean, there's. Mm hmm. Oops. Mm hmm. It's incredible. Are you, are you pretty awake now? I'm a little loopy, but I'm awake. Mm hmm. Just waiting for the doctor to come over and uh, I guess talk to me and tell me he did a great job. This would he better be saying. Then I guess I'm going home, which feels weird to like go home after this. How you doing? I think I'm doing okay. Everything went great. Good. I woke up and I say, oh, there's something here. <laughs> you had the original hernia plus a surprise hernia a little bit above it. You know what? I when I was looking recently, I, knew, I started seeing a lump come out above. Did you really? Yeah. That's what so it was. So I was like, I think I have a double hernia. <laughs> so that actually the one on the inside, the the real belly button one was reducible. That one was stuck. So that one really needs to have, be uh, be fixed. So we we'll oh, fixed that one there for you. Okay. 
brought your waistline in, made okay. it nice and flat, nice okay. little lifts, great cleavage, you're gonna I love it. I am looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. Good, good. You're just gonna hang in there, recover, and catch up in your post up, okay? Okay. Time to go home. She made it. So, I'm wincing because the car bumps are horrendous. Guys, I'm not gonna talk at all because she told me I can't be funny, which uh, means Justin. I can't talk. So. Point two. So, sorry, I can't even talk about being funny because when I talk about being funny, I am funny. So it's, I, I just gotta stop, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Him. I'm going to punch him, I swear. Then sorry. you can't be funny. If I punch you in the face, then you can't be funny. Oh. So pretty much laughing is like, out of the question. I will not be laughing. I don't, if I'm in the family videos, you can expect me to be tight-lipped. I will not be laughing. As a matter of fact, I don't think I wanna be in the family videos because those girls in Jersey, and you guys, like, I just need to stay away from you. We're gonna mime our videos for a week, guys. We're gonna mime, mime oh content. Gosh. Oh.